three generations. Between them. Oh, I'm real. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come on, get up. Come on, say, go. Come on, go, no, 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 no. Come on, do the whoa, whoa, whoa. Be a bad boy. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come on, get up. Come on, say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come on, get up. Come on, say, go. I don't have money. I I I yeah, it was a surprise, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I really know. What. I like you to say that we get to make this one.
We may be seated. We'll now sing um, the congregational song, No Night There, while Sister Ulosem directs it.
First daughter, Okwe, and um, first son, Ade, who will be presenting the eulogy stroke obituary remarks. Early life. Reverend Isaac Alao Oladako Adekunle Shodipa was born on the 16th of January 1960, 1950, to Mrs. Mojisola Murala Comfort and Mr. Johnson Adeyami Shodipa at Waisimi Alafia, a town in Ogu State to Nigeria. He was the last born of the three children from his late mother. His grandfather was the king of Ilawo, Abelkuta. Education and professional life. Isaac completed his primary school education at African Church <coughs> Primary School from 1957 until 1962. Then in 1965, he started his secondary school education at African Church Secondary Modern School 
and graduated in 1968. From 1969 to 1971, he worked as a dispensing attendant at Otta District Hospital in Ogu State, Nigeria. It is now the state hospital. <clears throat> then in 1971, he started an engineering apprenticeship at the West African Portland Cement Factory in Iwikoro, Ogu State. He completed his apprenticeship in 1975 and continued there, working as a qualified mechanical engineering craftsman until 1981. In October of 1981, Isaac traveled to the UK to further his education in engineering. He enrolled in Grimsby College, Grimsby, Grimsby College of Technology and completed a BTEC in refrigeration and air conditioning. In 1993, he started his undergraduate for design and manufacture at the University of Central Lancashire, College of Science and Technology. He graduated in 1995. From 1998 to 2001, he worked as a mechanical engineer for the British Library's mechanical book handling system in King's Cross. He worked in numerous contract jobs thereafter, but took the decision to stop after his first wife, Ruth Oluwatumishi, died in 2005. He did this in order to ensure that his children were raised in God's word. Christian experiences. During his engineering apprenticeship at Ewekuru, Isaac crossed paths with Reverend Peter Ade Remy Awumoyi, who came to work as a teacher at the cement factory. God spoke to Isaac, letting him know that Reverend Awumoyi had something in his life which Isaac needed. Bro Awumoyi was living in Agwesi estate, near the place where the apprenticeship students, including Isaac, were living. There they used to hold prayer meetings and on a Friday in 1972, Isaac received salvation. He was water baptized in the Apostolic Faith Church in Antony in 1973. And in the following year of 1974, he was sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. Church work and pastoral care. My dad was a member of the Board of Trustees at Apostolic Faith Church for about 13 years. He additionally worked in the church office as a volunteer for several years. In July 2014, during a camp meeting, he was ordained as a reverend. From February 2017 to August 2018, he served as an interim pastor at the Apostolic Faith Church Birmingham branch. He took his pastoral care duties very ser seriously. He will always be remembered for the time he took to check up and call many people. He has many non-biological children who he encouraged regularly by calling, texting and also visiting. He led the prison evangelism work, visited inmates and also sent letters to encourage them in God's word. Marriage and family. In 1987, my dad returned to Nigeria to marry my mum, Ruth, Ruth Uluatumishi. After their wedding, they returned to England. They had five children together. In July of 20, in 2005, after months of sickness, she died. As a result, my dad single-handedly raised his five children. In July of 2011, my dad married my stepmother, Duotolua Janet, and together they have one son. My dad was a family-oriented man with a strong sense of duty and care towards everyone he knew and met. His Christian faith was prominent in every way, 
It permeated through everything he put his hands upon. To his children, he would always say, if there is one thing that I will leave for you, it is God's word. Furthermore, he ensured that his children learned to speak, read, and write in the language of Yoruba. He was proud of his Nigerian culture and ensured that the children were speaking Yoruba to him and to each other. Later life. My dad had started making preparations for his death for years before his passing. In August 2018, he wrote his obituary in Yoruba and sent it to us, his children. In the years leading to his death, he became even more diligent in reading his Bible and set up a Bible study group over Zoom to study God's word. After having the flu in October 2021, Isaac began to cough. The cough lasted for several months until it worsened. After much probing from his family, he went for a checkup and was informed that he had a chest infection. On Sunday, the 27th of February, he was rushed to the hospital as a result of complications from the chest infection, which had developed to severe pneumonia. He died on the 1st of March with his family surrounding his bedside at the hospital. He survived by his wife, his six children, and his granddaughter. Thank you. Thank you. I surely know 
I'll be content with what I have while waiting here below. For I can see the golden streets by the eastern gate. My precious mansion is complete, and I cannot live wait. One of these days, one of these days, one of these days I'm going home. One of these days, trouble will soon be past. There will be peace at last. One of these days I'm going home. One of these days. reading will be taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 through to 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 through to 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Amen. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Message 
Blessed Savior, to Him bear. Tell Father I'll be there. Heaven's joy with Him to bear. Yes, tell my darling Father, oh, be there. Though I was often wayward, he was always kind and good. So patient, gentle, loving, when my ways were rough and rude. My childhood griefs and trials, he would gladly with me share. Oh, Savior, tell my father, I'll be there. Tell Father I'll be there. Heaven's joy with him to share this message. Blessed Savior to him bear. Tell Father I'll be there in answer to his prayers. Yes. Tell my darling father, I'll be there. When I became a prodigal and left the old roof tree he almost broke his loving out in morning after me and day and night he prayed to god to keep me in his care oh savior tell my father i'll be Tell Father I'll be there in answer to his prayer. This message, blessed Savior, to him bear. Tell Father I'll be there, heaven's joy with him to share. Yes. Tell my darling father, I'll be Turn to First Thessalonians chapter four. Read verse thirteen. But I would not have, but I, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of our late Reverend Shodikwe. We no, there are two things that uh, happen in life. We are born. Then after that, we leave this world. And God has 
things that he does in this life that he proves to us mortal beings who he is. We can only succumb to the sovereign will of God and when we do so God himself will help us to know our true standing before him or what we are worth before him. The sermon that God has for all of us today is that which we cannot deny. Yes, in life we are faced with situations and we have exposed to us different opportunities but there is a common denominator to us all. And when that comes, we pray that God will help us to be in the state that our late Reverend Shodikwe is now. He preached from the time he got saved up to the end of his life. I'd say for me, 73, when he was baptized, that's when I was born. So he faithfully lived a Christian life which not only challenged us here, but his life touched many. His life touched people as far as the southern Africa. Reverend Isaac had been to Zambia. He went as far as Angola just for the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's been as far as up the northwestern side, across the Pacific, for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, the sermon that we have before us, that he leaves us, is that when a man hears the word of God and turns his heart over to God and God saves them, God forgives their sins, he has a new lease of life. Every man that lives on the face of this earth has had that conviction. God speaks. We did not happen to be. It's God who made us to be. Yes. Neither do we have control on when we will live. It's God who knows when we will live. Yes. But when that day comes, God wants each and every one of us to be ready. We exist to prepare for that day and God himself will help every one of us who has heard this sermon that I, it is Reverend Isaac preaching to us today. We are gathered here to celebrate his life that he lived for Christ. He not only got saved, 
God sanctified him. God baptized him with the Holy Ghost and fire. And he preached this Christ that he loved so much. Not only to his family, he went as far as to the prisons, preaching Christ. He knew what the most important thing in life is. He would always say, the word of God in your heart is more than a billion that can be in your account. Yes, it is. It is the word of God that made this world into existence. And it is through this word of God that we can get to terms with God. It is through the word of God that we should live this life. And after we leave this world, still the word of God prevails. For that word is Christ himself. Amen. So we pray that God will help every one of us to get the challenge to check ourselves. Yeah. Say, where do I stand with this God? If it had been my day, where will I be? For there is a question for every one of us. Where are we going to spend eternity? We read from uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. We are looking to that day Amen. when Jesus will come. And when he comes, he is coming for his own. He is not coming for everybody. Some will be left behind. But it is my prayer that anyone that has ears to hear will give his heart over to God. God loves us. He gave Christ for us that whosoever, whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. The life that we are living here is too short. And we have a day, just like products in the shops have expiry dates. This flesh that we have on us have an expiry date. Every one of us has got it. And when that day comes, make sure, I should also make sure, I am right with God. And God's Spirit tells us, if you're right with him, his spirit witnesses with your spirit that you are right with God. If you're not right with God, his spirit convicts you that you need to make right with God. I am preaching to you by the grace of God when God convicted me of my sins. I knew. The Spirit of God was telling me, if I die in that state, I'll go to hell. There was no preacher before me. It was the Spirit of God contending with me. And this God still speaks. Yes. At times we ignore him, but may God help us Amen. not to do so. Amen. For we cannot procrastinate to the day that Christ himself will appear or will call us. We need to take action now. And God himself will bless us. Amen. Now, the Bible tells us in Romans 14, 7, For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. 
Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the living, of the dead and living. We pray that God will comfort us. Amen. We have a promise of eternal life. It's, it's life without end. And God wants every one of us to be on his side. That when that day comes, we'll be with him forever. Paul spoke about the same thing in 1 Corinthians. That's where I'm going to end. Chapter 15, verse 51 to 58. Behold, I show you a mystery. Life is a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Death, what we call physical death, as far as God is concerned, those that die in Christ with their names written in the Lamb's book of life, they are not dead. They are only sleeping. Amen. Reverend Shodikwe is sleeping. Amen. And when the trumpet of God sounds, Amen. with all that have died in Christ, he, they will rise Amen. as Christ himself rose from the dead. We shall not all sleep, which means it may happen today, if the trumpet sounds today, some of us will still be alive, but we will be changed. Amen. We will be changed. Amen. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we will be caught up together with those who have resurrected first Amen. and will be with the Lord forever. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. That is the reason why Christ came. And that is the reason why he died. And that is the reason why he rose back to life. That you and I can have eternal life. God bless you. Amen. The challenge is for every one of us to make sure we live right with God. Amen. While we, um, the, the, the song by the choir, Goodbye and World Goodbye, while we sing that song, or while they sing that song, um, the, due to time constraints, we can't open the casket for the entire congregation because we've got to leave, actually, for the burial ground in a few minutes. Um, but we'll allow the media family to actually view it. So while that song is going, and the casket will be open for the family. I'll probably suggest we kind of come this way, go that way, back to our seats. So we're trying to synchronize both together. And after that, um, they will have the closing prayer.
Father, King of glory, 
and the Lord of Lords. We thank you, Lord, for the life of our brother, our father, our uncle, Reverend, late Reverend Isaac Shodipe spent. We thank, the, thank you, Lord, for the life he spent in Christ, our Lord and our God. We are praying now, Lord, that you will descend down to comfort the wife she left behind, the children she left, he left behind, the church of God, the extended family, and all the spiritual children he left behind. Heavenly Father, we are all looking forward. Praise has not gone, he's sleeping as we heard. We are all looking forward at the marriage supper of the Lamb. When the Lord shall gather us together in Axolaba, our prayer is that we shall all be there. Whether individually or collectively, by way of rapture. Father, we are praying at the time the archangels are sound the trump, Lord. Father, turn our ear. Lord, turn our ear. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you. Amen. As we are going now, Lord, let your presence go with us. Amen. Let your presence abide with us. Amen. And when, Lord, we are saying that, Lord, you will see us in glory. Thank you for answering our prayer. For we pray in Jesus' name. Well, uh, th thanks everyone for coming. Um, just um, at the back cover, the inside of the back cover, we have, um, in terms of what follows next, interment at uh, Manor Park Cemetery. The address is there if you need to use your uh, sat nav. And we understand there's a reception follows afterwards at uh, Flanders Community Centre. And again, the postcode is there from 1 p.m. So we'll be having the recessional hymn now which will be conducted by Sister um, Olos. And the, in order to move things fairly quickly, because we are running late for the cemetery, I think the undertakers will move the casket, and then the immediate family will follow. The ministers will then follow them, after which the congregation, as we are, running, we are really running out of time now. Okay, we'll have the procession on him. Oh 
generations. Lati, Lati, I'm here for you. Yeah, it was a surprise. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, I don't even know. Hello, it's me, Mr. Ekusi. I'm going to be here for you.
three generations. Between them. Oh, I'm real. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come on, get me wrong. Come on, say, go. Come on, go, no, 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 no. Come on, do you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Be a bad dog. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come on, get me wrong. Come on, say, go. Yeah, it was a surprise, so yeah. Yeah. Ah, I know.
three generations. Between them. Oh, I'm real. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come and get up. Come and say, go. Come and go, no, 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 no. Come and do the whoa, whoa, whoa. Be a bad boy. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come and get up. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm real. Come and get up. Come and say, go. I don't know. I don't I I yeah, it was a surprise, so yeah. Yeah. Ah, I know what. I like you to say that we get to make it so
three generations. Between them. Come on, bro. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm bro. Come on, can you go? Come on, say, go. Come on, go, no, 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 no. Come on, do the whoa, whoa, whoa. Be a bad Come and say, go. Oh, I'm bro. Come on, can you go? Come on, say, go. Oh, I'm bro. Come on, can you go? Come on, say, go. Tomas. I don't know what I don't I do I I yeah, it was a surprise, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Hello, I think you did this. I think you had to make this one.
generations. Three generations. Lati, Lati, I'm here for so yeah. Yeah, it was a surprise. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, I'm really nervous. Hello, it's me, Mr. Ebusi. Thank you for having me.
We are taking you to work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we come to mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. who are left. Mm-hmm. Be wise. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord. Mm-hmm. The granddaughter. Mm-hmm. The family. Mm-hmm. The brothers. Mm-hmm. Sisters. Mm-hmm. And the colleagues mm-hmm. with the ministry. Mm-hmm. Lord, comfort us. Mm-hmm. We need your comfort. Yes. We need your comfort. Yes. Especially the widow mm. and the children. Yes. Lord, we send them in your hands. Mm-hmm. You are the God of widows. Yes. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. Oh, get to heaven. What a day I rejoice in that to be. Where we all sing Jesus. We will sing. And shall the victory where we all get to heaven. <laughs> of the graveyard service so we may make our way to the reception god bless you god bless you by and by god bless you
please if you want to join the campaign and the reception. God bless you. What is the fire
no more weeping. There be no more weeping when he
Ishan. And may God help us to hold the faith to the end until we meet face to face with our Lord Jesus Christ and with the saints like Brother Isaac. God bless you.
generations. Three generations. Between them. Oh, I'm broke. Come and say, go. Oh, I'm broke. Come on, can we go? Come on, say, go. Come on, go, no, 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 no. Come on, do the whoa, whoa, whoa. Be a bad Come and say, go. Oh, I'm broke. Come on, can we go? Come on, say, go. Yeah, it was a surprise, so yeah. Yeah. Ah, I know. Oh, do you need help with the cutting? 